Good morning, Fairfield Union. I am Molly's son, Keaton. And I am Lena's son, Darius. Today is Thursday, September 14th, or better known as National Cream Filled Donut Day. One bite into one and you'll know exactly why these donuts deserve their own day. And on this day in history, the Star Spangled Banner was written by Francis Scott Key in 1814. Oh, say can you see? Okay, okay. Weathermen, please save us. Good morning, FUHS. Today we are out here in the beautiful great beyond. And today the high is 74 and the low is 46. It feels about 50 right now. Obviously it's sunny, but that's all I got. Go birds. Thanks for that, guys. We want everybody to know that it, no matter how nice it is outside, it doesn't matter because you're going to be inside all day. But that's okay because we have each other. <laughs> now, before Darius gets any more emotional, let's go check on sports. Good morning, Falcon Country. I'm AJ, and this is my pal Carson, and we're here with your Thursday sports update. The girls' soccer team improved to 9-1-1 on the season after cruising to victory against Logan Elm. Taylor McCready, Rachel Worthman, Kyla Gasser, Maddie Mitchell, Taylor Schmeck, Taylor Teal, Peyton Hughes, and Ava Wilkinson all found the back of the net. It was a great all-around effort by the girls, and Macy Martindale and Maddie Miller combined for the shout-out, the sixth on the season. JV fell 2-1 to to Marietta, and Katie Welch had the lone goal. And the ladies are off until Monday when they head to Willington. Boys soccer traveled to Bloom Carroll last night for a league matchup involving two teams in undefeated league play. JV got things started with a 2-0 victory on goals by Parker Redding and Eli Kidd. Varsity drew 1-1 with the lone goal scored by Cole Rowley, along with some excellent defense and goalkeeping. The boys are back home on Saturday evening as they host Mount Vernon. And that's all we have for today. Good luck to the Sporty Birds competing tonight. Falcon Country, let's, let's fly. fly. Good job, my little birds. I am so proud of you. I hope one day we won't be such pathetic losers and I can be as great and we can be as great as you guys. Now, me and Darius are going to be starting something of our own this week. and We'll be individually picking two people a week. Instead of picking someone purely on gender, we're going to be picking you on whatever it is we feel like. I, I will be picking... No, no, no. Dare Bear, I go first. Okay. I will be picking Mr. Bain because he's such a big time media supporter. And I will be picking Jacob Forson because he has so much potential. Congratulations, Congrats, guys. guys. Now, we're going to see what's really important, the food you'll be consuming today. No chance it's going to be better than General Tso's from yesterday. That may have been the best lunch ever. The rice, the broccoli, the chicken. My goodness. I can't wait to see what they cook up next. Yummy. The lunch ladies are working pretty hard, so we're going to try and find out what lunch is ourselves. Sounds so scrum diddly dumptious. We have the best lunch ladies on pl the planet Earth. Period. Darius, you love our lunch ladies, don't you? Yeah. It's yes, not yeah. Now it's time to see who came out of the womb today. Happy birthday to Sam Sadler. Hope you have a great day today. <laughs> oh, that's on the floor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for today. Remember, it's a great day to be a Falcon. Plus, Plus one. one. Go Birds. Thank you.